Okay, I play Nick Torella. Okay, let's uh, let's play Knight of Three this game. Okay, D5. Playing the ready. C4. Yeah, actually, I don't I don't know that line very well. I was I had some vague memories because I used to play this, but I never I had that variation something similar to that in a couple of games a long time ago. One of the games I ended up down a piece, but I ended up winning actually against the GM. So it was uh, lucky. Let's see, it was completely winning, but um, similar position. But yeah, the b5, I remember the b5, bishop b5 idea, but other than that, I didn't exactly know what I was doing there either, trying to sort it out as I was going. So go to a Catalan, close Catalan. I guess queen, knight c3, queen c2, and then bringing the rooks to the center and playing e4 is the the way to go from here. The idea that when black tries to free himself, my pieces will be better placed. Queen c7, I don't like. The queen on the c file is poorly placed. I will play rook c1, and she won't be able to stay there forever. So yeah, the late uh, Alex Wojtkiewicz was very good in these kinds of positions as white. Usually black, instead of queen c7, play some b6, bishop b7, and um, finding a spot for the queen is also a problem, though, in this line for black. Okay, I, I don't know what the plan is with knight f8. I don't know what the idea is, but I will just keep making my moves. Rook c1, eventually e4. Okay, I mean, the knight is not well placed here. It's dominated by the g pawn, so I'm not sure what the purpose of bringing the knight there was. e5 is not going to happen. Let, let me just continue with my build up. Um, and if I take on d5 at some point, I free his light square bishop. I don't want to do that. So, but still, the queen in the long run, even if I don't immediately open the c file, will not be able to stay there. So now it looks like it's time to play e4. Although I could now take on d5 because I have, because of this move b6, if he takes with the e pawn, I have knight b5. Uh, but he can actually then move his queen, and if I take on c6, then he has bishop d7. So that doesn't look like, let's just play e4. Looks like it's time to do this. So he doesn't react, but now, because of the position of the queen, there could be some additional problems for black. Or I could go e5 and h4, h5. So cd, he can take with his c-pawn, and I don't think I achieved too much. I mean, I have e or e5 first, let's say, and then cd. And if he takes with his c pawn, knight b5, he trades queens, and then he gets rook to f to c8. I can then take on c8, and if he takes with a rook, I can take on a7, but then he might go rook a8 and then take on a2. So let me just, I, I don't really like releasing the tension in that way. Let me just uh, build up instead. Because here it's so hard for him to play c5. Uh, well, <clears throat> knight d7, he might be threatening to take on c4 and c5. Um, then I should probably play d5, though. So I don't think he can take on e5. So knight d7, yeah, I can also still take d5, go for that line. Knight b5 takes, takes, rook f to c8. Rook c1, takes six, a6. Doesn't lead anywhere. So let me play h4. I don't think he's threatening c5 uh, ever with his queen on there. He can take on c4, and then I take back, and then c5, h5, followed by 
d5, and I doubt he can take the pawn on e5. Hard time with, oh, by the way, what's time control? Oh, it's long time control. I have a hard time with closed positions as I find the move moves arbitrary. Hmm, that's interesting, yeah. It's a... Uh, it can be a problem though that uh, if you're a very concrete you have a very concrete style of play then um, figuring out what to do in a closed position can be tough but here for instance this pawn is now with this knight here this is a pretty big weakness so there's going to be some queen e2 only thing is his main counterplay is to take and play c5 at some point and i usually want to be responding with d5 but now i'm I think I want to release the tension finally, cd, and then go queen e2. And here I'll be threatening his to attack his queen with, if he takes with the c pawn. If he takes with the e pawn, I like this chain, this structure. Uh, then I have a huge majority on the king side. I also have the move e6, which would destroy his position most likely. So now queen e2, and my idea is to go knight g5. I also threaten to to attack his queen, and I might have such moves as knight b5 also coming next. His queen has to go. I don't know d8 probably queen d8 uh, and then not knight g5 but maybe just knight h2 and take his h pawn that that seems like it should be enough just take his h pawn i'm up a pawn and then and then i um then I further move my queen and start pushing my h pawn with an attack on his king you know that move allows me to just take on d5 Especially because if he tries to sacrifice his queen, I have an in-between check on e7. Okay, so now I don't really want to take on e7 because then it allows his knight back in. So I, I, I think I have knight c7, rook f8. And my knight gets a little bit funny, although I do get to play d5 then. I don't particularly want to, you know, okay, let's just go knight e3. Yeah. No, let's go knight c7 and then d5. I want to open up the game. I want this bishop to be introduced to g7. Start, start uh, to, so I want to play after rook moves, I'll play d5. Maybe then follow up if he takes it with e6 even. Which looks like a quick win. So now position's opened up. It starts to look concrete. But before you see that I just I put my pieces where I think that they will they will be useful in the future and um, prevent Black's counterplay breaks, which was C five primarily. But well, he made it so. <clears throat> so that it would be harder for him, himself to make the pawn break because he put his queen on c, c7, which was a mistake. So he actually did my work for me a little bit. Yeah, that rook's not running away, so I, I don't uh, need to take it immediately. But uh, yeah, knight uh, g5 is a possibility. Don't want to trade to light squared bishops, but I most likely have to. Um, but knight g5, yeah, okay. well, let's just take the, the, the yeah. Um, let's just take the, the rook. And now I can, I can go knight g5. Let's just go knight g5. Probably trade, um, trades on, on g2. I'm threatening h5. So yeah, he's not going to get a knight here. If somehow he could uh, bring his knight to d5, well, I'll, I'll make sure to prevent that. Then he would have some compensation. Knight mm. e1 was okay, also possible because then I would take the knight. That's a good idea. Actually, would have been take with the knight on g2, and then the knight would come to some good square like f4 or e3. So that uh, in this position, like um, RGA said, knight e1. But of course, knight g5 is also fine. I'm just up the exchange, and he has to play g6, but now it looks like I can probably just checkmate him on the h file eventually. 
with g4 coming up. And h5, oh, sorry, no, it's his move, yeah. He has to play g6. Okay, he checked here. I don't even really want to trade queens anymore. Of course I could. I could go queen f3 and then my rook will invade. Yeah, I'll come to think of it, that's probably the simplest way to do it. I don't need to be dealing with this g4 stuff. I just go rook c7 and... Um, if he goes knight g6, trying to bring it to e7 and then to d5, I will have bishop a3. Yeah, he wants b5. Maybe I should have... Uh, I, I, yeah, I have rook c6. Um, he wants to play b5, knight b6. Yeah, but I'm going to prevent that. I don't want the knight on d5. Not that I wouldn't be winning in that case, but I, it would it would be more difficult, and it also just wouldn't be wouldn't be what you want here. Uh, so here now now I, I can play d5, but it lets his yeah no I'll just go d5, and uh, his knights are tripping over each other, so there's no knight e6 move ever. And get both rooks into. Oh, whoops. Uh, oh, what am I? <laughs> I? I thought that wasn't possible, but he scared me there for a second. Yeah. Mm. Of course, even if I had hung the exchange, uh, it still would have uh, been winning for white. But. Um, should be two. Okay, black is making some kind of random moves. So yeah, knight b8. Okay, it looks like I can now in him. And I wish I could have got g6 in first, but that's uh, fine. Just make another queen, or um, a new queen. Yeah. So yeah, um, black is apparently going to play on until mate. It's his, it's his prerogative. It's only a few moves though, so that's okay. Okay, good, good game. 